Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna explain about uh, player controller. Uh, what is player controller and how we can use it in Unreal Engine. So if you go to the page uh, player controller in Unreal Engine, here they explain about uh, player controller. So here they return uh, a player controller is interface between the pawn and a human player control in it. So basically, it's uh, I can say it's a remote control and we can uh, control our uh, uh, pawn or character with it so here they explain detail about the player controller please uh, go to the page and read by yourself so back to our project so here i already created a player controller you can see cycle controller uh, you just right click and blueprint class and here you find a player controller a player controller is the actor uh, that uh, control the uh, character or pawn so i just uh, name it test create a you can see that icon is a controller icon uh, how we can uh, control it it represent this So the player controller parent class is a controller. If we go to our character, like the BP third person character, you can see the parent class is a character. And if we open it, it's a basically C++ code, which makes the character. and that's how the parent class is a player controller if we open it it's also a c++ uh, code and we created the player controller now we can overwrite it there is also ai controller which represent artificial controller uh, enemy or something like that ai control themselves i will explain it in future video So if we go to the game mode, uh, we can see, uh, we can add uh, our own controller. I have the cyphon controller, I will add, I, I add this. Now we have jump in our third person character and uh, using this function we can jump, our character can jump. If we press uh, space, our character is jumping. but if i just cut it and compile and save and play the game and if i jump now there is no jumping because we cut the code there is no code for jumping so we can use this code in our controller our player controller which is called cypher controller i just paste it control v compile and save but there is a compilation error because we don't have the reference uh, player controller can be the reference the reference is the character so bring the character and get player character right button and search now class to our third person character class to pp third person character and from its we need to promote a variable and this is the reference variable just get it and add with the target compile and save now alter p we can jump now so you can see that we can use the functionality and code in the player controller that's a very big benefit sometimes we need to add a, a reference uh, or add a code in a player controller and we need to we can use it in uh, multiple characters if we want of course so we can use any of this player controller blueprint code to the player character blueprint code to the uh, player controller for example i just cut the move forward and without this code our uh, player cannot move forward or backward alter np we cannot use the wns key because uh, we cut it but we are moving to right and left so go to the cycle controller and paste it we paste the code uh, now we just need to add the reference 
so uh, this is input if you uh, press right button you can add the input by yourself i add the reference but if i disconnect it there will be error and we cannot play the uh, oh, play the game there will be error showing yeah that's it so go to the sifull controller and add the target compile and save now we can go forward and backward but the code written in our player controller so we can use multiple cl character we just uh, add the number to here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 9 so uh, this uh, will uh, add apply in this uh, character the player uh, player controller the benefit of using player controller is various we can use code here we can add uh, many code and use many character in here there is a even bigger play and even tick function which we can use also sometimes we need to add hard and other code in so we can use our uh, player controller so i just add a print string and i, I write uh, some uh, this is a cypher player controller running so if i play uh, the print string will run so we can use this function also so basically the controller is uh, worth like a controller we can control our character we can control our pawn we can control multiple character and other code also there are other function functions macron variable uh, which we can use by the way so this is all about uh, this is for today's tutorial bye everybody and i hope everybody like it